Hello friends. In this series of uh, one question in a day, uh, I welcome today all of you uh, and uh, today we look at one concept of permutation combination with an example. All right. So let's have a look at the question. Now the question is related to uh, forming uh, or counting the number of triangles uh, that can be formed among given number of points. Now, some of these points may be collinear, some of these points may be collinear. So, this is the question that is in front of you. So, you can read it through. So, question says that let A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H and J, K be 5 diameters of a circle with a center O. Now, in how many ways can 3 points be selected out of these uh, 10 points which are on the circumference and 1 point which is the center of the circle that is O so as to form a triangle. So we are given 10 points. These are diametrically opposite points in pairs. Okay. Uh, which are on the circumference and one point is the center of the circle. So we have to include all these 11 points and find out how many triangles can be formed among these points. Okay. So first of all, let us draw a circle. So let us consider this circle and uh, I will draw these uh, 10 points uh, which are diametrically opposite to each other in pairs. So let's say this is point A and opposite to point A is point B. All right. Then CD is another diameter. C, D are diametrically opposite points. Then E and F are diametrically opposite. All right. Then uh, G and H are diametrically opposite. J and K are diametrically opposite. All right. And after that, I'll consider O as the center of the circle. Okay. Now the concept says that if I want to find out total number of triangles that can be formed among n non-collinear points. So the number of triangles will be the number of ways of selecting three points out of these n points. Provided these n points are non-collinear with respect to each other. All right. Now, I'll consider that if all these 11 points that are given to us are non-collinear, then in that case, the number of triangles that can be formed will be 11C3. So I'll write the formula on the left hand side. So if there are n non-collinear points, non-collinear points, then number of triangles that can be formed among these n non-collinear points is NC3. Okay, that is number of ways of selecting three points out of n points. So if I consider that these 11 points, all of them are non-collinear with respect to each other, then the number of triangles that can be formed will be 11 C3. All right, but all these points are not non-collinear. I can see that if I will draw a line between A and B, then it will pass through the center of the circle that is O. So among these selections, among these 11C3 selections, if I select point A, O and B, if I select point A, O and B, then it will not form a triangle. All right. Similarly, if I select point C, point O and point D, then again, it will not form a triangle because these three points are again collinear with respect to each other. All right. So for every selection of three points which are collinear with respect to each other, the triangle will not be obtained. And this will happen in five cases. OK, five cases. I'll write if I'll select points A, O, B, if I'll select points C, O, D, if I'll select E, O, F, G, O, H and J O K. So in these five occasions, in these five occasions, we are selecting three points which are collinear with respect to each other and hence the uh, triangle will not be formed. So what we'll do is we'll subtract this five from 11 C three. So the final answer will be 11 C three minus five. Now you can do the calculations and you can get the answer. All right. So that's it for a uh, uh, question a day. I hope you like this concept. Now, one very important point for all of you is the CAT D-Day activity. You all can catch us live for CAT 2022 detailed analysis for each and every slot on 27th of November. Yes, slot number one will happen at 12.30 p.m. 
the analysis, the complete detailed analysis. Then the detailed analysis of slot 2 will start from 4.30 p.m. And then finally, slot 3, detailed analysis will start at 8.30 p.m. So do catch us live on the YouTube channel of Baiju's Exam Prep for the CAT 2022 detailed analysis. All the very best to all of you for your CAT examination. Thank you very much. Stay tuned to our Baiju's Exam Prep uh, YouTube channel for the further updates. Have a nice day.